Deneen is and continues to be a trailblazer in the legal society in Delaware. From the time she graduated from Temple Law School, Deneen, it wasn't that long ago, but it was not yesterday either. Uh, she's been at the forefront of her profession. Denise's contributions to the legal profession are immeasurable and priceless. She was the first partner of color in a Delaware firm. She's taken leadership and advisory roles in different bar associations. She's ascending to leadership in her firm. And she's a vocal and public advocate for diversity. And she's just getting started. I mean, Denise committed to, it's not about her profession. It's about really how can she offer herself to the community? So what she offers to the community is herself completely because um, she's not limited to just being a lawyer. Denise is, a, is an ultimate human being, and she truly enjoys uh, being uh, that person and being who she is, and she's willing to share with everyone. Even though she's my formal mentor, she is a mentor informally to so many other people in the community. Um, she's so unselfish with her time and her knowledge and her experience. And, you know, although I am one of her formal mentors, she's the same way with, with anyone that needs assistance. However, the difference that Deneen makes is really a personal one to people that she crosses paths with every day. And I was just talking to one of our mutual friends last week, and she was telling me how it was for her when she was interviewing here in Delaware. And she came across Deneen on the other side of the desk who interviewed her, and how much difference that made to her to have somebody who looked like her, who understood things on her resume and background that other people may not have, because Deneen and she have a shared some shared background. And most importantly, it made that person feel like it was possible for her to be in Deneen's seat one day. But the one thing about Deneen is that she always has time for me, you know, for whatever I'm going through. Like, if I, um, you know, just need an ear to talk to her about what's going on in my career, she'll take the time. What do you need? Let's go out to lunch. Let's have a conversation. And the best part about it is that we'll be at... We'll have lunch, and she'll take the time to actually take out a notepad and start taking notes and listing what are some of the goals that I need to reach in a given situation. It's just helpful. One thing that I've, I've watched um, as I've seen Deneen in action, and I've had the opportunity to you know, visit clients with her over the last year or two, but one thing that's really impressed me uh, about watching Deneen in action is her real connection with clients. And let me just tell you this. We walked into a room full of clients of Deneen's, and the first thing that happened was Deneen gave and got hugs from every one of the clients in the room. And I'm telling you, it was real, it was spontaneous, it wasn't planned, it wasn't anything that, you know, was, was put on for business purposes. Um, she cared about those clients, and they knew she cared, and they cared about her. And that feeling, that 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 genuine uh, feeling that she she really does care about her clients, came through uh, just singingly. It was really cool to watch. Best way to describe Dani is that she is the most generous person I've met in my lifetime. She's open to uh, giving all of herself to others, and she's very, very unselfish, which is a positive for all of us, and sometimes a negative for her, because she puts herself last quite often. And throughout everything that Janine has gone through, be it her cancer treatment, her um, other physical concerns that she's had, She's always been a champion of others first. It's difficult to reduce Deneen to a few words. She's multifaceted. She's a lot of things to a lot of different people. She's a mother. She's a daughter. She's a wife. She's a cancer survivor. She's an advocate. She is a pioneer. And she's a trailblazer. And she's a woman of faith. And to me, she's a wonderful friend. She's warm and generous and strong. Her family enhanced and kind of took that foundation, supported it, and it has been a real good support system for her. So it allowed Deneen to really uh, fly. 
Without that support, she may not have become the woman that she is. And I was reading a recent article by Justice Ginsburg where it talked about how do you raise a trailblazing daughter? And there were things in there that were kind of obvious about developing a love of reading and being independent and thick-skinned. But the last one kind of surprised me, and that was about praying that they marry the right person. And I have to say, I think Denise's parents' prayers were answered when she married Hayward. I think she would be the first to say that his unconditional love and support have really contributed to the success and happiness for her in all areas of her life. So I just want to thank Hayward for all that he's done for our trailblazer, Denise. You know, I, I think I could point to any number of specifics. But the point is, Deneen is about serving other people. She does it brilliantly, and she brings, you know, great vigor to the process. Gosh, if without Deneen, I, it's hard to imagine what the legal profession would be like, because she's, like we've said, start, started so many first. Um, I, I think the answer to that, quite frankly, is it would be a much poorer place. Um, I think it would be a sad day um, without people like Deneen that have struggled and have been the first and have had doors closed in their face and um, have opened the door for others and, and walked through and, and brought others along with them. So I, I just, I wouldn't want to see that day. I think that Lewis Redding would be very proud of Deneen. She's not just carrying on his legacy, she's adding to it. She's opening doors for others in the legal profession and in the community at large.